Welcome traders to another brand new video on the Switch Stats channel. Today, I'll be going over a new and unknown strategy that you can trade with on the 30-minute time frame. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so, and please also leave a like on this video. That way, I can keep making these videos for you guys. I will always try to keep the video as short as possible to save you guys time, because I know how frustrating it can be to constantly be searching for the best scalping strategy. So please subscribe. Now let's get into the strategy. We will first configure the chart. This strategy works with crypto, forex, and even stocks. The stop loss and take profit with this strategy will be set at swing highs and lows. Therefore, this strategy can be applied dynamically to any asset regardless of the volatility of the asset. For this showcase, I will be trading on BTCUSD. After you have chosen on what asset you will be trading on, we will set the time frame to 30 minute time frame because this is a 30 minute scalping strategy. That was all that we needed to do. Now let's add the indicators to the chart. Go to the indicator tab and click on the search tab. After that search for the coral trend indicator. Once you have done that select the one made by Lazy Bear. We will need to add one more indicator to the chart. Go to the indicator tab and search for the Ichimoku cloud. Add the indicator made by TradingView. Those were all of the indicators that we will be adding. Now let's optimize the indicator settings. First head over to the Coral Trend Indicator settings, then navigate to the Inputs tab. We will be changing the smoothing period to 100. After you have done that change the constant to minus 0.4. That was all that we needed to change for the Coral Trend Indicator. Now, navigate to the Ichimoku Cloud Indicator settings. Go to the Style tab and untick everything except for the plot's background. After you have done that change the opacity of the plot. Do this for both colors. That was all that we needed to change for the indicator settings. Now let me show you when to enter into a position. But before that, please like the video and subscribe to our channel because we post the best scalping strategies for free. Thank you for understanding. Now let's take a look at when to enter into a buy position. The first condition is that the red line needs to turn green. The second condition is that the price needs to be trading above the Ichimoku cloud. Thirdly, the candlesticks cannot be touching the Ichimoku cloud. It is important that the candles are relatively far away from the Ichimoku cloud. As you can see, all of the conditions have been met, so we will enter into a buy position. We will put our stop loss at the recent swing low, and for the take profit, we will target a 1.5 times risk to reward. As you can see, the trade was profitable. Now let's look at the requirements needed for a sell signal. The first condition is that the green line needs to turn red. The second condition is that the price needs to be trading below the Ichimoku cloud. Thirdly, the candlesticks cannot be touching the Ichimoku cloud. The candlesticks should be relatively far away from the Ichimoku cloud. As you can see, all of the conditions have been met, so we will enter into a sell position. We will put our stop loss at the recent swing high and for the take profit, we will target a 1.5 times risk to reward. As you can see, the position was profitable again. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. Also, please like and subscribe if you haven't already.